Hi, this is Professor CC19, and today we're playing level 318 on our quest to the end of Candy Crush Saga, where we have 40 moves to collect two hazelnuts. Now this board has a lot of different things that we need to deal with. First and foremost, these ticking time bombs. Even though they're set at 30, they will tick down fairly quickly as we try and remove all this frosting. Uh, once we remove the frosting, we have to make sure that our ingredients can travel through the portals, and then we can remove the candies over here, or here, or both. These two columns on the right, down bottom, correspond to this lower area, while the two columns on the left, down bottom, correspond with this upper area. Another issue on this level is the fact that these Far left and far right columns are stuck zones. There are no portals connecting to these outer areas, so we have to make sure our ingredients don't slide to the sides. Right away I see I have a very good setup because I have a 2 and 2 formation with the orange, and I know, and if you watch my videos you also know that that's a classic color bomb potential. Let's see if we can draw another orange right through the middle. Ah, it didn't work this time. All right, so it's potential. It, in this case, it didn't work out, but um, still, that's exactly what you need to be looking for. All right, so I'm going to try and strike the frosting as much as I can, trying to reach down as far as I can so I can reach these ticking time bombs, and then keep going down so we can remove enough for the ingredients to pass all the way through. Wrap candy is excellent for taking out frosting. Let's see, can we possibly create another one? No, I think if I do that with the red, it'll just take itself out. So I'm just, just going to strike it directly here. Once again, I have to be careful that I don't accidentally move my ingredient to the side or cause them to slide to the side. As you can see, this is kind of a slow process early on, getting through a lot of this frosting. Let's see, can I get a blue right here for a color bomb? Not quite. In fact, I'm not, I'm not going to be surprised if we have a reshuffle. We don't have very many moves right now. All right, here's our next ingredient. It spawns at move 25. Um, wow, we're not making very much progress here. I'm actually hoping for a reshuffle because these are sticking down 13. And we're not really getting much luck in terms of taking them out. All right, here's a wrapped candy. That's fairly good. All right, here we go. Getting some luck back now. Uh, I'm going to sink this down a little bit. Can we possibly get a stripe wrapped combo? Ah, I don't think we can, so I'm just going to activate it now. I'm going to cause it to sink down a little bit, strike some more of the frosting. Here's a color bomb potential, and it will take out the most prevalent color since it's going to be activated immediately. I think it's blue. Let's see. Is it? Yes, it took out blue. So that took care of two of our ticking time bombs. It also concentrated the colors down. And it looks like this other ticking time bomb is now gone. All right, so our luck has turned around dramatically from the point where I was looking for a reshuffle to change our luck to now we're down to 15 moves, and we've punched through most of our frosting. All right, let's see here. These are both towards the right side of the board, and I will say that when it goes to strategy, try and get your ingredients to spawn in those t from those two right dispensers, because it's easier to deal with this bottom area than if they come on the left, you have to deal with up top. And if you have to go up top, gravity is kind of working against you. All right, looks like I'm getting fairly close. Once I remove the frosting, these are automatically going to go through to here. And I only have a handful more candies to go through. All right, so that first ingredient's going through. The second one is coming through also. I just have three more candies to take out. All right, so since these are down low, well, actually, no, here, the chameleon candies, I was completely ignoring them. I probably should have said something about there are chameleon candies in these two right sections. Normally I completely ignore them, but here I can actually scoot this ingredient over, which is actually quite rare. <laughs> and now I just need to take out this last red candy, or whatever color it'll be next. 
And I can do that in a lot of different ways. I could go stripe wrap combo. I could go just a regular stripe. I could go a color bomb. Um, any of those actually would be fairly easy at this point because I have only five different colors on this board and it's fairly open now. So let's see what I can do. If I drop this orange down one, two, three, I have a color bomb with the orange. There we go. And as this turn back to red, I see I can take out all red and that will finish the level. All right, so that's how I beat level 318. This was my second playthrough for recording purposes. Um, I actually beat it on my first playthrough also, but just barely. So as far as strategy goes, in the early stages, like I've said with a lot of other levels, you have to be patient. It's not necessarily the most fun at the beginning. It's a slow and steady process. Make sure you can punch through as much frosting as possible. With such a small board, it might take a bit of luck to do that. But once you're through, it'll become a lot easier. Also, try and get those ingredients to come from those right two dispensers, and make sure you don't cause them to slide to the side. If you do, remember you have those switch hands as your boosters. They can switch one candy and an ingredient, so you can switch their ingredient free if it ever gets stuck. That's an easy way to get out of a bad situation on this level. So once your board is open, just make sure you try and bring your ingredients straight down and then just deal with the last few candies on the right. Once the board is open, it becomes a whole lot easier on this level. As far as boosters go, like I say, use those switch hands, and for taking out the frosting, I think coconut wheels would probably be the most helpful. If you found this video helpful to you, please subscribe. If you're stuck on any particular level of the game, please leave a comment below. I will try and help you. And as always, thanks for watching.